தேர்ந்தர் அரசியல்வாதியும் ஒப்பற்ற போராளியுமான தேசியவாத காங்கிரஸ் கட்சியின் செயல் தலைவர் நாடாளுமன்ற உறுப்பினர் திருமிகு சுப்ரியா சூலே அவர்களை சிறப்புரையாற்ற அன்புடன் அழைக்கிறோம் வணக்கம் சென்னை விமென்ஸ் ரைட்ஸ் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் தளபதி எம் கே ஸ்டாலின் அண்ணா துர்கா அண்ணி மெஹபூபா முஃப்திஜி பிரியங்கா காந்திஜி டிம்பிள் யாதவ்ஜி சுபாஷினி அலிஜி அனி ராஜாஜி லேஷி சிங்ஜி ராக்கி பிட்லான் சுஷ்மிதா தேவ் அனுபி சதகிரி கனிமொழி Helen Davidson, Namakkal Rani, all the Honorable MPs, Ministers, Media, DMK Lakers and Policy Makers. I thank the DMK for hosting this most wonderful event today here. And when I stand here, I must, when I start my speech, pay great honours and respect to Periyar, Annadurai, Kalegnar, Karunanidhi ji on his centenary year, Chhatrapati Shivaji Shahu Phule Ambedkar, which is the legacy we work, and a very special moment, Sena Tamila Enuma Bodhinile Imbatetan Vanda Payuda Kadanile. What I have been told this means is Tamil is a very sweet language and it's like sweet honey when you get it. So Tamil, which is a beautiful language, which I fortunately in Parliament am surrounded by DMK. There is Balu ji, our leader, who sits in the front, Sonia ji, who sits in the front. Then I have Raja, I have Daya, I have all Sumati, my friend, who sits right behind me, Jyoti Mani. I have all my other friends. I was listing them out. Shabir, who sits right next to me. My younger brother, who's sitting right next to you. All of them, Karthi Chidambaram. So sometimes I'm confused whether I'm in NCP or I'm in DMK because I'm surrounded only by DMK. And I'm going to request Stalin Anna that we are fighting for our party and symbol in Maharashtra. So if Maharashtra doesn't get a ticket, I know one ticket I will get is from DMK in the Tamil Nadu years. But it's really wonderful to be here because Tamil Nadu has a rich legacy. It's a state which has done social justice. The state which I come from, of Shau Pule Ambedkar's you have the same rich legacy of Periyar, Anna Durai, and of Kalukaruna Ridiji. So we feel very proud and I was very blessed and lucky to meet Karuna Ridiji whenever he came to Delhi. So I had the opportunity to take his blessings and learn few things and the opportunity to work with his children who have such a big legacy of the DMK party. So it's an honor for us to be here. And the beauty of DMK and Tamil Nadu is that here I asked somebody today before coming here, what are the few things the Tamilian pride is? They said our pride is of social justice. We are proud of our language. There is no caste, no religion. It's only our language which fills us together. And I would like to tell Talapati Stalin Anna one thing. That's one thing that the entire DMK in India's pal parliament stands for is their proud Tamil legacy that they're proud of. Whatever issues are raised, always Honorable Balaji is always leading, be it the MBBS exam, he's always first leading and fighting with the BJP. He's always fighting, no forcing Hindi on us. We are proud Tamilians, we like our language. Hindi is welcome, English is welcome but you cannot take the Tamil away from the Tamilians. So I think it's a very proud community with a rich legacy. And there is one most big contribution which you all have done, which Kalingar has done, 
is they have not only taken Tamil language ahead, but even the technical words in schools used were started by Kalingar. So there are technical language. So you have really brought it down to the basics. So you all are really proud of your language. And it's so wonderful to see that there is no caste, no religion. It's only what unites Tamil Nadu is the love for their language. So the way you are proud Tamilians, I am a proud Maharashtrian who has a lot of pride. And right now the way the invasion from Delhi that I call Adrusha Shakti means it's an invisible power of Delhi which is attacking the cooperative federalism of this country. The way Tamil Nadu is fighting, Swa, so we fighting in Maharashtra and unitedly Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra will make sure that nobody will go against our cooperative federalism and take away our rights from us. I would like to quote Kani Moriji has orchestrated this most beautiful evening and a special session for all of us. But she is lucky to have the leg complete great legacy since 1929. In Chengapol Pet, there was Periyar who did the first women's conference of self-respect conference which Periyar started and I think led this entire country. And I would like to compliment Talapati Stalin Anna for this most wonderful thing which his father did. And I think it's wonderful that the son takes the legacy of the Samavat Puranam, which every woman who left, lit, left together, and nor did she just live together, the house is not in the husband's name, the house is in the woman and the wife's name. So I really compliment this for this wonderful work that they have done. And this conference is about women. I don't look at myself as a woman MP. I'm a member of parliament. But I would definitely like to put something on record which actually I would not like to call my friend Kani Muli a victim. But this time when the speeches started about the women's reservation will, Kani Muli, which actually means sweet language and she's exactly sweet language. So when Kani Muli stood up to give her speech in parliament, she stood up and the bullies of the Bharatiya Janta Party who claim they want to wish women before Kani Mori started her speech, started heckling her. And I must say, the entire DMK team with the entire NCP, we fought. They are 300, we are only 100. But I'm sure Sumati, Baluji, Daya, Raja, all of us who were there, Kadir, you were there, we all shot those 300 BJP men down because we felt that Kani Mori was fighting for the rights of every woman of the state. And she, in a most articulate way, put up the points of the DMK. So I really congratulate her for all the efforts that she has done. Well, Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra have a deep relationship. For me personally, Tamil Nadu is very, very special. For the reason that my youngest sister, Ashwini, is married to a Tamilian boy, and they live in uh, here, Kartikeyan, my brother-in-law, is born in a place called Irod. And she's more Tamilian than most Tamilians. She has the most beautiful thali that she wears. And all the women in our family now started wearing thali because of my sister who is married in Chennai. So we have a deep connection of architecture, food, saris, textile, jewelry, music, dance. So I think the rich heritage of Tamil has come to Maharashtra and we feel closer to Tamil Nadu because our, daught our daughter has been given here and she's so well treated by Tamilians. So I'm eternally grateful for Tamil Nadu to accept my Maharashtrian daughter here and teach her all the good things that the Tamilians and make her a richer and a nicer person being here. She was quite nice when she was with us, but she's become a better person after she's moved here. So we are eternally grateful to you for looking after my sister. And it's really interesting that how languages bring us together. There are two common things between Maharashtra and uh, Tamil. You have L, you have L, and you have L. We have only L and you have L. It's like Malai is mountain, Palli is school, and Kanimori is sweet language. So it's L, L, and Modi. So these are all interesting things that bring us all together. And we all who are on the dais today are committed 
to giving every woman her dignity and that's why we are all here from various parts of the nation. We all work together and the India project that has been started, we are committed to giving a fair and a just leadership and governance which India deserves. So we are committed and I thank Thalapati Stalananda for all the efforts that he makes. He comes for every India meeting. The first leader to come to the meeting is Baluji and Anna. Most punctual, most eager. Sometimes people are talking in Hindi. They have no clue what is going on. But Anna and Baluji are very meticulously hearing the meeting. In the middle, they will ask me, what are they saying? Then now we keep a translator for them. But they are so meticulously working, most punctual, most disciplined in every India meeting. So every time we meet Anna and Baluji, we always learn something from me. So I'm eternally grateful to the entire DMK team for putting up this most wonderful meeting and hosting us with so much love. Just a last note I would like to remain. When I see so many women, the most, my most favorite thing in the world and the most favorite flower of mine is jasmine. And the Malipu is most beautiful, which is Malipu is the best quality Malipu you get is in Chennai. And every time I come to Chennai, I take two kilos of Malipu for my mother. It's the most precious gift that I can give my mother. And while I was walking, when I came to meet Anni, I saw in the audience, I could smell this beautiful fragrance of happiness, joy, and celebration. The whole power of this positive energy of the women of Chennai, I'm eternally grateful for us to be here together to celebrate life, to celebrate freedom, to celebrate joy, to bring it because I think women have a huge power behind and it's not about genders. I think the great teamwork that we have done and like Kanimori always says in parliament, don't put us on a pedestal and glorify us as women. We are gender equal, we are as equal as the men. We don't want glorification. We only want equal rights which we have deserved. And I think with the legacy of Periyar, Anna and Kalingar, I think Tamil Nadu leads the way to all of us for a better India. Thank you very much.